Hi, welcome to a brief introduction and tutorial on the Acara Lab 6-bit encoder. The 6-bit encoder allows you to encode non-Leica lenses and older Leica lenses that don't have 6-bit encoding in order to put that encoding on your lens and that will allow your um, software like Lightroom etc to pick up what lens was mounted on the camera, what focal length. There's also the advantage of it applying vigenetting corrections, chromatic aberration corrections and things of that nature. Uh, into your files. Okay, so in order to get started with this, we can have a look at the encoder itself. Uh, this literally clips onto your lens, and you can see here the uh, six slots for the six bits that will allow you to encode the lens to a lens of your choice. Okay, so we can see here I have uh, a Leica M11, and it has a uh, Voigtland Ultron 2 f2 lens. If I start the M11 up, and click the menu button, you should be able to see that it thinks at the moment, it thinks it's a F1 50mm lens, which clearly this is not, so we need to encode it. And in order to do that, we turn the camera off, remove the lens, and you can see there's no markings on this lens whatsoever. So the 6-bit encoding, if you're not aware, on this is a Summilux 50mm Leica lens, and this does have the 6-bit encoding, you see quite clearly um, it goes black, white, 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 and that to the camera tells it that it's a 50mm Summerlux lens. Okay, so we need to code this one. On this sheet here, which is widely available throughout the internet, if you look down for the lens that you have, or the closest to the Leica equivalent, on this case it's the Summicron 28mm f2 SPH lens, and the coding for that lens uh, on an actual Leica lens is white, black, black, white, black, white. And you can see here on the other lenses column that that is listed as the Ultron 2. So let's go ahead and do that. Right, so I'll leave this in shot just so we have a reference. We take the encoder. We can see on the lens itself, there's a small um, like notch, which is where the lens locks into the camera body. This is also um, apparent on the uh, encoder, which we clip onto the lens, and we can rotate round until it clips in place. And now, from left to right or clockwise, we can do the encoding. So, um, the ink or paint you use is important. You want to use matte paint if you're going to be using sort of model paint or something of that nature. Uh, various pens, some do work, some don't. Uh, this one just happened to be one that I had lying around. It does work. It's a Pilot pen. Uh, so we can go ahead and encode this. And it was white, black, black, white, black, white. So white, black, black, white, black, white. And the advantages of the Voigtland lens are the two actually have a slight indent around the uh, flange, which means that the ink or paint uh, won't be rubbed off by the camera body over time. So on uh, older Leica lenses, you may have to reapply it every now and then. Um, but generally speaking, they do last for quite a while. So there we have our encoding. I've only done a quick job, um, not particularly great, but hopefully that will be enough for it to be picked up for this demonstration. Uh, I go ahead and remount the lens on the camera. We switch it on. As you can see now, it thinks it's the um, 28 mm F2, so that's successful. It takes moments, very easy. I hope this helps, and uh, good luck with your own encodings.